welcome to this presentation. We are going to be considering a very significant thing that we need to do to a structure of this kind before we carry out an analysis. This is an observatory tower design. So as you can see, the structural element, all of it has been analyzed and designed successfully. That is why you are seeing in these provisions of a design statute, it in green shows that it is okay. So all the structural element of the structure is being designed successfully. So what I'm about to show you that we are supposed to do to a structure of this kind, the same thing is applicable to any structure that is carrying a shear wall, maybe for lift provisions. So you have to do the same thing to the structure in order to have a proper design after analysis. So you do this thing before analysis so that after analysis you will be able to have a very good and proper design of your shower of this kind. So at first let us navigate to the display tab right there. We come over to uh, visual interrogations right there. So in the dialog we will get right of the design statute. Okay, so scroll up and select none right there. Click on the OK options. So you know how the structure just like this. As I said earlier, this is an observatory tower design successfully. So if you select any of these shower, you will notice that these showers are grouped. Alright, so what I'm about to let you know before you carry out your analysis is grouping of your shower. So you have to make sure that your shower at each floor is being grouped like this for proper rigidity during and after analysis. And I will be showing you right away how you can't do this successfully. But before we go straight away into that, I want to ask you to like and subscribe to our channel, Soft Freezing. This is Soft Freezing channel where we teach we train and we design for clients successfully. My name is IC Friday, you are instructor. So always stay tuned to be the first to get notified whenever we upload a useful content of this kind. We also encourage you to join our ongoing training program that we expose you to the nitty gritty of this program, product structure, private structure, the class structure successfully. So let us make progress. Before then, I want to also request that you should share this video with your friends in case of necessity they may have good use of it successfully. Also, visit our website www.softreasons.com for some items you may see there and some useful courses successfully. And so right away before I will show you how to group this, I will take you to the drawing of this tower and you will see the way the drawing of the shower part of the tower is being presented. Successfully. So if I get this selected and I right click, I can get to sections design. All right. So I'll select section design. So here is the section design of that particular uh, share wall. So you can see the way it's being presented, the design. But in a situation where you did not group it, you wouldn't have this. You have it in a single in a single present presentations as in you have all the sides being presented individually but now the four side is being connected together and then form a kind of ROC columns design at each edge of the wall right there as you can see so this is the benefit of grouping a shower for proper rigidity during analysis and design.
So have it understood this and this presentations. We will go back. So I will show you how you can do this successfully. Click on the OK option right there. And then if for instance you want to group this, you can navigate to the plan view of any story. So let's say we are at story three right there. You get to the plan view of story three. Just like this. So you can see that in a normal way you will be we are supposed to be having about four walls here. But if after grouping all of the walls you will see that it becomes single. Select one or is being selected. Okay, so it's showing you how to do this. We are going to be modeling a simple wall and then we carry out the grouping successfully. So these are four walls modeled to form an elevator's room like this. So if you notice that these walls have not been grouped, and so you can see that we have a one W one two three and four but if it's being grouped successfully you will have all of this all will be grouped as one so that is what we are going to be doing and in the case of your designing of any walls that enclose itself just like this or that is at a uh, that is at a right angle Or in a health shape, make sure the wall are grouped together for proper analysis and design successfully. So for you to group the wall, you have to get all the walls that you want to group selected. So you select the first one, you can uh, hold the control key right here to select the rest of the wall, just like this. So having select all the walls, you can click on merge vertical members. So click on that. So once you click on that, you see all of this is being merged successfully. Okay, so instead of having four walls, you are not having only single wall, just like this. As well, you can unmesh it. Okay, so it is now being split into four walls successfully. So you can also merge it, maybe the first two, this one and that one, you merge that together. Okay, and then this and this one, you merge it as well, just like this. But always ensure that your walls or shear walls is merged before you carry out your analysis for proper design. And rigidity all right so this is the important things I want us to note actually in the design of in a building or any civil structure run design that we have to involve shower successfully here is the physical model and this is the analytical model of the observatory tower design successfully. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comment sections. Also check the descriptions of this video for there are links for some items you may need to get. Once again, thank you for staying through this presentation. This is our freezing channel. I am engineer IC Friday. Thank you once again and bye for now.